No, I know I damn sure ain't gonna win no motherfucking Grammy, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna come in there with the Sprite bottle like this. Have Beyonce hold my cup for me, nigga. I'm gonna be right there. As soon as the rap shit over, I don't win. I'm gonna be right out that motherfucker. All right, nice to meet you. All right, let's see y'all. Yo, Schoolboy Q, you watching Noisy Raps and you's a punk motherfucking bitch. In this time, a generation of rappers, rappers could really be like entertainers instead of just looking at us as thugs and we're entertainers out here, which we really are. So we gotta live our life like an entertainer. We need to do shit a little better than what we do. Everybody know me for smoking backwoods and shit like that, but I kinda like cut back. This is the new shit I'm promoting. If you wanna, you know, still smoke backwoods, but you can smoke a little frontal leaf for some time. You can find it every now and then. Real tobacco leaf. You know that shit you be seeing on National Geographic hanging upside down in there? That's this shit. You know? When Q is like, I know I can experiment with him. It's like, yo, it's a record that I couldn't hear nobody on, so I'll be like, yo, let me try to get this to Q. And that nigga would be the one who actually tried it and come out crazy every single time. That's what I kind of admire about this kid right here. He's not really afraid to take risks. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Where we come from, like it's hard to succeed. Like this is the good part. Like five, five minutes away from here, like it, gets, it, it doesn't look like this. You know what I mean? Like five minutes away from here, oxymoron. Niggas that had to do what they had to do to do the good for they they family. Like some of them are really hustling because they have to. I like to look at my environment. I like to deal with my situations and my problems. Niggas ain't seen half of what I seen, just from where I come from and how I live. Like. Nothing is shocking to me. Like, I don't have to go to Africa to see that kids are starving. I can go to the east side, you know? Grandma said she loved me. I told her I loved them all. She always got me things that we couldn't afford. The new Jason, Tommy Hill in my drawer. Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64. To go to I was way of war. You weren't thinking getting money there. Nor did I wonder why my uncle done sold his bins. Cause he been tripping now. He sweats a lot and slimming down. I also know his moms be locking doors when he around. But anyways, his wife done left him, now he living with us. My bike is missing, grandma like to hide a check every month. My uncle's nuts, he used to give me whiskey to piss in cups. Knocking the door, telling me to hurry up, he in a rush. I gave it to him, then got my ass whipped for doing it. Moms used to tell me like, nigga, know who you dealing with. Them was the good days, till I raised to older ways. Rat Tone, my nigga's brother, shot me my first K. I was amazed, me and Floyd was in the back, he called us over like, hey, yak, 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 we like, damn, nigga. Then again, yak, yak, we like, damn, nigga. Hearing them say cuz turned us to a fan, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just all, like, that's a true story, like. Yeah. The whole rundown right there, that's just like a piece of the verse, like, you know? Grandma said she loved me, I told her I loved them all. She always got me things that we couldn't afford. The new J's and Tommy Hill in my drawers. Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64. So go then I was way of war. You don't hear gangster rap no more. Like, my new album is gangster rap. Nipsey, you can fight that Nipsey's a gangster rapper. YG album is gangster rap. Snoop and Dre, they made the real, real. I mean, of course, NWA too. When you say LA sound, I'm like, but I used to always listen to Messy Marv. You know what I mean? Messy Marv, Mac Dre. That's a whole different sound, too. This nigga Corrupt had a verse where he said, Fuck that bitch, that nigga that's fuck that bitch, that trick, that goofy ass bitch, super fly, super high. Like, niggas wouldn't understand that type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, they'd be like, That sounds stupid nowadays. Like, nigga, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> when I was younger, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is just how we talk, like, nigga, you know what I mean? Fuck that bitch, nigga, the goofy ass bitch. This is what a two point something blunt look like. That motherfucker ugly, though, look. Ugly as fuck. That's that G shit, though. For the most part, all our fans in TDE, they've been there for like day one, like, from when we was like nothing. You know what I mean? Those are the people that built this foundation, like, Man, I remember some like fans in LA, like they used to be at every event we was at, like it'd be the same little 13 people, you know what I mean? Like everywhere we at to the point that we knew their names, we, we say what's up to them every time we see them. We just kept building, kept building with TD, man. Just happened, dog. Like J-Rock was like the match to the camp. He put 
light onto it, you know what I mean? Kendrick came in, did what he did, did what I did, so got Isaiah now, and the scissor, and it's just perfect. Yeah, well, it's been like nine years, you know what I mean, man? Man, we still going, you know what I mean? This this, this just the beginning, though, you know what I mean? So, and it's just like, everything is unfolding, this shit crazy, man. It's still, you know what I mean, unbelievable. But we always knew we were gonna get to this point, though, anyway, because we just stayed working, you know what I mean? So, shit, eat. That shit is good, like, just seeing the success that you have always give you another boost the energy to rap again. Like, yeah, this is why I do it, you know? I don't give a fuck how much time we, we broke or hurting, wearing the same clothes or however long you owe the homie money. You niggas just go crap, I knew that. I wasn't wasting my time, like over there. You can't judge nobody, like, you never know what that person was going through. Like, Nancy Grace and Bill O'Reilly, like, just try to shoot people down, artists and TMZ, you know what I mean? All these people, they just try to shoot artists down and say what they doing wrong and what they, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are you doing at home? Like, nigga probably got kitty porn all on his fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? All through his fucking weblog or whatever, like. I'm from Hoover, like, we say groove, like where I come from, you know? Like, it's it's part gang banging and it's part like me, cause I feel like I am a, a hippie in real life, like, and I am a, a groovy ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm chill. Niggas see QI ain't all loud and rah rah. I am like, real groovy, chill, mellowed out. Hey, Kendrick, so up here, we all done forgot about blue. <laughs> that nigga come back, it's all. Niggas ain't gonna even wanna talk about QI. Niggas gonna be treating me back like a, the hype man again. Like, oh. Oh, Kendrick, when is your, you put your date out? See, this is so good about frontos, man. You like, as soon as you stop hitting them, them bitches go right out. Shit ain't running everywhere, you know what I mean? You stop hitting it, that bitch go out. <laughs>